Take a look at this sign outside this La Cañada Flintridge Starbucks. It reads, Hello Friends. Nothing too friendly about the name Beaner printed on this coffee cup in place of a name. It should have said Pedro, which is this man. He says that's the name he gave the barista, the name they called when his coffee was ready. But take a look at what he says he found, that racial slur right there on the cup. Yo me siento muy mal, por eso es muy malo eso es. So he just feel bad, you know, for, not for him alone, you know, for everybody else, even if it's your, if you're a Mexican or you're a Me African American, you know, he just feel bad for all of us. Pedro, who did not want his last name used, says he was hurt by what happened, only spoke reluctantly. His outraged friends, one of whom posted the picture of the cup with the slur on our Fox 11 Los Angeles Facebook page, were quite vocal. As was Armando Cruz, a co-worker of Pedro's at a nearby restaurant. We just want some respect. We don't want anything for free. We don't want no gift card. We don't want anything else. We just want some respect for the person, you know, that he gets mistreated. And this from Starbucks customers. It's a derogatory term yeah. from when I was in high school or younger. And in this community, it would not go over very well, now would it? So it's bad. I mean, you can't make commentary. It's bad for the company, if nothing else. Bad for a company that's already planning to close its stores one day this month for sensitivity training. After police were called in Philadelphia, when two African-American men used the restroom without making a purchase, then apparently refused to leave when asked. I sat in front of them, and I apologized personally. Starbucks CEO apologized for that. Hey, are you the manager here? Uh, I'm actually, I would not like to speak to you about this. As for the La Cañada store, the manager, not happy to see our camera, refused to answer any questions. A spokesman from the corporate office in Seattle said, we've apologized to the customer. Obviously, it's not indicative of the kind of experience we want customers to have when they come into our stores. We are doing a full investigation into the incident to make sure it won't happen again. I've confirmed with the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department that someone vandalized this store after that Facebook post was made, shoe polish on the windows. Uh, has any disciplinary action been ta taken against this particular employee? Starbucks says it's too early to say. They know they have more than 27,000 stores worldwide with more than 238,000 employees. Live in La Cañada, Flintridge, I'm Phil Schumann, Fox 11 News.